Hey friends, hope you're doing so well. I wanted to pop in and tell you how the little Bible box is doing. Now guys, we're so stoked about this little addition to the ministry, and I want to give you an update on how the Bibles have been doing. So we have two left, obviously. We started with 41, so 40 come in a box, and we got one free at an event. It was a cowboy Bible, and so the first one went over in Huntsville State Park. Guys, we put this in front of our rig, and so it's just sitting out in front. We have the Go On Overland banner and stuff like that. So the first one went overnight at the state park and that was just humbling and really confirming to what God was doing. And then we went to a show. Of course, if you don't know, we have a traveling business. So we went down to the Pasadena Strawberry Festival. And so here's how that went. So day one, we had, that was the 18th. We had six Bibles go out. On the 19th, we had eight Bibles go out. On the 20th, we had 15. In the 21st, we had nine. Now, how good is that, guys? I am just so humbled when I see the people grab a Bible and take it. It is just so awesome. You see the hope and the light in their eyes. I get thumbs up. I get thank yous. We get a lot of really neat stuff. Now, something we found was there's a few people that were actually asking for Spanish Bibles. So there's a big need to stuff some of those in here as well. Want to make sure and minister to that group. Uh, but guys, how good is that? That's 40 people, well 39, that now have the opportunity to read and develop their walk with the Lord and just study God's Word. How good is that? Now on this, friends, I have a scripture and hang back for a little bit more, a little bit of a story uh, that I want to tell you guys about the Bibles and maybe a call to action. So Isaiah 55 verses 10, it says, As the rain and the snow come down from the heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I have sent it. Now, how good is that, friends? God's word does not come back void. So, just as the water comes down and waters all these trees behind me and brings life and brings uh, results to the person who plants seeds, the sower, and food to the eater, so does God's word. It comes back out of God's mouth. It lands on people. These Bibles here come out of this little box, land in people's hands, and we pray over each one of them. Guys, we'd love to have you guys join us in this pursuit by praying over the Bibles. But more importantly, guys, we'd love to have some partners in this. We really are interested in that. So let me tell you a story. I called up my buddy, lifelong buddy, and I said, hey, these Bibles are popping. God's doing something here. Do you want to be a part of it? Guys, I'm not kidding. 10 minutes later, he said, bam, bam, done. And some Bibles were on the way to my house. So uh, just so encouraging. Guys, there's a huge need. Uh, this is going to be something that's going to be weekly. We can already see the results here. So again, 40 come in a box. I think it's like 70 bucks or something like that. Bibles in bulk, it's $2 a Bible. And so you just never know how that could change someone's life. Just imagine that people are thirsty and hungry for the Word of God and don't have it. How sad is that? That's just terrible. It breaks my heart. So honored to be able to do something about it. Uh, we had the opportunity to pray with some of the people. It, depending on the situation, it's in front of our truck at a campsite. We're over here at Fort Parker State Park. It's going to be in front of our truck now. Uh, it's at other state parks and different places we park. Next to our booth, we might be working inside our craft fair booth, uh, and people just come up and grab one. So sometimes we get to minister hands-on and pray with them. Sometimes it's just a quiet thing. They grab the Bible and they're on their way. So really encouraged about that, guys. Uh, if, you, if the Lord's telling you to get involved on this, please don't hesitate. Please reach out to me. I'll give you an address. It's as simple as that. I'll give you an address. You can mail the Bibles over. So I have a friend in Uganda. He lives in Uganda. I met him in Kenya twice. Now guys, he's a mighty man of the Lord. Very worthy. You know, you gotta be careful sending stuff to different countries and whatnot, but I've met this guy. He's a dear, dear friend of mine. 
He's in charge of amazing ministries and just has a huge outreach and he's asking for Bibles. So something I'm wondering is if God will put on your heart to mail the Bibles to me and then we'll go to the post office and ship them off to Uganda. So he's looking for, I think he wanted 60. They come 40 to a box. So what do you say we send him 80 Bibles? How good would that be? Uh, so I can't wait to give the good report on that. Again, everything's going well here. I think we'll do this often, maybe a weekly update on how the Bibles are doing. Maybe if there's any stories that I caught midweek, any neat stories of people getting them. But again, friends, let me just tell you, the amount of people that looked back, grabbed a Bible, one guy looked at my wife and kissed the Bible and he was just so thankful. And it just doesn't get much better than that, friends. It's such a neat ministry. And I'd love to partner with you guys on this and continue telling you the stories of how these Bibles are impacting people. They were very grateful and it's a really worthy cause. So again, if you're one of those that you don't want to know that every dime that you spend goes directly towards the ministry, all you got to do is I'll give you an address and you can mail these Bibles directly over and we will just distribute them. So we'll be the hands and the feet. Would love to get some ministry partners on that. But guys, we're over here camping, so we'll have a camping video come out. Uh, we got some steaks and stuff planned, so it's going to be fun. But until the next one, God bless you. Get up and go on. Well, friends, we sure hope you enjoyed that video. And if it did anything for you, make sure and let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and drop a prayer request. We love praying for y'all, and we get to each and every one of those. And if you want to know more about our travels and adventures and the gear that helps us get up and go on, follow us on our other channel, Go On Overland. We'll see you over there.